If you are down there in the ATL and you are having trouble finding deals on the market that hit your numbers, why don't you look to off-market, folks? I got an off-market deal that's going to help an Atlanta investor just like you make a ton of money. Let's check it out. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise, and I'm here to help you. Now, today... I'm working with my man, Kirk. Kirk, you are a CVS store manager down there in Atlanta by day, real estate investor by night. And your story, you got a great story, brother. You are doing your day job. You're trying to become a real estate investor, trying to get some cash flow real estate, trying to subsidize the day job, which is what we should all be doing, right? That's what's so great about real estate investing. You don't got to quit your job. As a matter of fact, you shouldn't quit your job. People out there encouraging you guys to quit your job to become full-time real estate investors, that's a bad plan, man. What are you going to invest in, right? You need money, number one. Number two, you need the ability to get financing. You know how you do that? By having a great day job like you do, okay? So, Kirk, good job out of you for your plan. But here's your issue. The market in Atlanta, I mean, dude, it's 2022. The market everywhere is hot. Historic lows on inventory, historic lows on interest, which is making prices go historically high. So you hooked up with me. You're like, dude, I can't afford anything. Cash flow doesn't make sense. Can you find me something good? Because I know that's what you do, Jay Wise, and that's right. I go where the deals are, folks. We don't worry about where we live when we invest. We worry about where the deals make sense. So today, Kirk, I got a multifamily property for you in Northeast Ohio. Now, this is off market, right? I actually was doing this deal with another client. He ended up having to exit the deal. He's doing a few deals and uh, uh, just <clears throat> had to do the other ones. Couldn't get financed for all of them. So this deal, currently off market and before the seller puts it back out on the market for other bidders. I want to give you the opportunity to slide right in there, dude. 77 and a half is what we have it under contract, right? Uh, I go over numbers at 75 for him, but 77 and a half is what we actually got the seller to accept. So I'm going to leave you now with my original analysis of this. And then if you want to slide into this deal, get your own home inspection, finish up the due diligence and take this one down, my team can manage it for you. Let's go. Welcome back, folks. This this is the good part of the show, the meat and potatoes, okay? 6.30 East Avaliria, five days on the market, and I believe we're getting a big discount here, $78,900. Now, anybody who's uh, paying attention to my show or understanding what's going on with the Cleveland market knows if you're buying duplexes in decent C-ish grade neighborhoods, you're paying about hundred grand. This one already deeply discounted at 78.9, and I think we could go a little bit further and get it for about 75. The question, why? Why do we have the ability to pick something that should normally be 100, pick it up for 75? Why? Well, a couple reasons. Number one, when people look at the Cleveland market from all over the world because people are hearing things, they're seeing national publications, articles, this or that, they're hearing that Cleveland's the best cash flow market. Cleveland's the best cash flow market. Cleveland, Cleveland, Cleveland. All they do is say Cleveland. They forget to mention all the other areas in the greater Cleveland area, the other cities, and investors right from all over the world. They just narrow in on stuff that has a Cleveland address. This doesn't have a Cleveland address. This has an Elyria address, right? Elyria, whoop, getting tied up on the cord here. Elyria is about a half hour west of Cleveland, right? People heard about LeBron James, right? You know, you've heard of LeBron James. I would imagine if you're a living, breathing human being, you know who LeBron James is, right? Everybody knows LeBron James is from Cleveland. Cleveland, Cleveland, Cleveland. LeBron James ain't from Cleveland, people. No, he's not. LeBron James is actually from a city called Akron. 
It's about 30 minutes south of Cleveland, right? Southeast, all right? So this is the same distance from the city of Cleveland as LeBron's hometown, but everybody just refers to everything as Cleveland, right? That's great because that means all the investors from Nationwide are focusing in on the Cleveland properties, and I believe that artificially inflates their price a little bit. And then deals like this one fall through the cracks because nobody's paying attention, right? It's in the Cleveland market. My team, we handle it, $200 million in sales. We have tons of properties over here, right? To us, it's all the same, right? To the locals, it's all the same, right? To out-of-state folks, they don't ever pay attention to that. You never hear of Illyria. There ain't no... National publications, no articles on any investment website you're on where they're like, Illyria is a great place to invest. Nobody's ever said the name Illyria. It's a teeny little suburb, right? Cleveland, the Cleveland market, folks, multiple millions of people, right? I think it's three or f three to four million people, I believe, is in our metro area. Only like 340,000 of them actually live in the city of Cleveland. Think about that, right? In addition, I actually like the government in Illyria better than the government in Cleveland. Now, that's one reason why the price is so low. Second reason it's falling through the cracks here is, well, the, <laughs> the listing agent, God bless his soul, hasn't done anything, okay? As far as pictures go, we got one picture, nothing else. What did he have to say about the property? Not a damn thing, a completely blank listing. Didn't say what the rents were, didn't write not one word about the property. Literally did Next to nothing. Bare minimum effort. This is not the appropriate way to market a property, but that's okay. I dug deep, found out some info for you guys. The tenants are paying 500 bucks a month in rent. Now, you have no insight into what's going on at this property. You have no idea what it looks like. You have no idea what the conditions is. Uh, and you don't know what the rents are unless you're talking to me, and I've just told you they're 500 right? So you have no clue what's going on. Well, guess what? Here's the skivvy. Here's what you really need to know. Here's the information you're going to have that everybody else doesn't have. 500 that's below market rent. Month-to-month -month tenants, below market. Your market rates for these units are 650 and 750 We got a 1-1, one, one, a 2-1. Should be bringing in market, 16-8. Of that 16-8, I believe, after fixed and variable expense estimates, you'll be netting approximately 78 78 I believe we can get it at 75 because nobody's paying attention to Elyria, number one. Number two, <laughs> The marketing, there's like nothing for anyone to work off of, right? Uh, so because of that, I think we can get it at 75. That means you pick this up, only 18750 out of your pocket. Bank kicks in the rest. And that, folks, would be a 27% cash-on-cash return if you can get those current tenants up to market rate. We'd want to do so by slowly increasing the rents. We wouldn't want a turnover to occur because I'm going to tell you some more information that's not in the listing. And you know what? This is information that you're going to get when you've sold $200 million worth of real estate. Here's the deal. This is not something you should anticipate. The units are brand spanking new. Now, long-term, month-to-month, below-market rate tenants. When those tenants move out, you're not just sweeping and then putting in new tenants at market rate. No, you're doing a full turnover, right? You're probably looking at, like, between five and fifteen grand, depending on what's going on, right? Uh, walls, carpet, probably new kitchen, new bath uh, fixtures, okay? It's probably what's going to happen. That's what you need to anticipate. So we don't want to just jack their rent up and have them move out because we don't want to spend that money. No. Instead, we go up slowly, 25, 25, 25, and get them up to market rent without ever creating a turnover, never paying for that turnover, right? Turnovers are what kill your returns, guys. Not getting 1000 bucks a month for a $75,000 profit. It cash flows right now. Okay, so everything we get is going to be cherry, right? You want to get more rent without incurring a turnover. And as far as your big ticket items, roof, hot water tank, furnace, do not expect any of them to be brand new because they are not. Now, back to my chart. As you see, I have a little something here, $840 a year for capital expenditures, okay? That's money you're saving. You actually get that money right now, okay? That's your money. But I'm not allowing you to consider that return right it i don't hold it it goes to you so you could spend it on freaking hookers and cocaine if you want but what you need to understand is that's fairy dust <laughs> different than the dust you're shoving up your nostrils uh you're not actually making that money because you have some big bills that are going to be coming up a roof is about seven thousand dollars roofs last about 30 years this property don't got a new roof when we get it inspected by the third-party home inspector, I'm sure it's going to say it's got, you know, 
the last five years or so of its life cycle, right? Ten, five to ten. It's going to be in the back end. Furnaces cost about three grand. We're going to be in the back end of those. They last 30 years. Hot water tanks, they cost a grand. We're going to be on the back end of those, right? So they last, uh, cost, cost about a grand to replace, last about 15 years. We're going to be the back end of all three of those things. That's why I want you saving 840 a year and preparing for when those bills eventually come because they will. But hey, guess what? We're picking this thing up at 75K and a property basically in the exact same condition, properly marketed with a Cleveland address. We get you a very similar tenant base, very similar rent rates, be in the same or similar condition and it cost you about 100,000. So this deal is a screamer, but ain't nobody but you knows it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.